Hello everybody, welcome back to another What's New Wednesday. So today we are venturing to B&M to have a look around and see what they've got in store, if they've got anything for autumn, some Halloween stuff. Um, so without further ado, let's cut to the shop, have a look around and then join me after and I'll show you the bits and bobs that I bought. Okay, let's see what's in B&M. I've got a big pet event going on, three for five pound. So I get Charlie some uh, fish finger and chips. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's starting. Christmas is creeping in. Oh, these are new, aren't they? White chocolate toffee. Yeah, twenty five p more for the white chocolate. <laughs> what are these? Snickers peanuts with special Snickers bar Ooh, taste. They taste like Snickers. Well, you've got a mixed chocolate one and everything. Yeah, <laughs> Different. Mm. They do all these different flavours of Red Bull now, don't they? This one's nice, the tropical one. Cactus fruit. Tried that one. What's the red one? Watermelon. Oh, look at these <laughs> little gift boxes of chocolates for dogs. <laughs> oh my God! What are the cookies? The Barkery. The portisserie. <laughs> oh, these are the dog bowls that we've got at home for Charlie. He loves them. I think they're just the right depth. Fabiosa body mist. So you can smell like your antibiotic. <laughs> Imagine if you got them um, confused. Imagine if you like mix them up but, and you sprayed yourself with the wrong, wrong thing. There we go. Christmas, Christmas gifts are ready. Already. Gift sets for the dads. Gift sets for the dads, yeah. Nicely modelled, thank you. Look at these double dip brushes. They've got a lot of bath mats in here. Look at all, look at all these. That's a lot. <laughs> How cute is this pet toy box? I do like that. He would chew the ears off of it, but I like that. I've got um, a rattan dog mat as well. I need one of these. I need one of these tote bags. Oh, there's a cushion sale. Oh. Hmm. Nothing. No, and I think it floats my boat with the cushions. <laughs> I'm after a new rug for the bedroom. These are really soft. Hmm, 15 pounds, not bad. I like that colour. Lots of storage baskets. We've got loads in the sale here, look. That green one, that's nice. Aha. Uh -huh. The home decor section, some of my favourite things. Let's have a look what they've got. It's a pampas grass hoop, that's quite nice. This heart is nice too, is that a pound? Oh, that wreath is nice. Oh, that is vases actually as well. What's that? Oh yeah, you got one of those yeah. from um, HomeSense, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. That's nice. That's really different. Yeah. Oh, they've got lemons. De decorative lemons. <laughs> Interesting. Got a lot of uh, neutral looking candles in here, which I quite like. Unwind. Escape, restore. Got wax melts, they've got diffusers, re diffusers. These are nice too. Just nice and neutral. They've got some quite nice fake plants actually. What's this? 
breakfast pot on the go. A breakfast pot. Oh, so you can put like your porridge and yogurt and fruit in there. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's good for work. Oh, this one hasn't got a spoon. Oh my God. That definitely is a party speaker, isn't it? I saw in the window that they were doing um, air fryers in here for 25 quid. I wonder if you can find them. Chris still really likes these. They're a good idea for Christmas. Yeah, good idea for that barbecue. Or a barbecue, yeah. Especially now outside, I think. We've got something like that. Yeah. Chicken sausage, burgers, chicken, whatever. Yeah. And it just stays warm and it's covered. So you don't I get remember, flies on it. I remember my nan and granddad always used to have um, a hot plate. They had a trolley, like a hostess trolley with a hot plate on it. I know, it's not a bad price. Wow. Christmas is definitely, definitely here. We haven't seen any Halloween stuff yet or autumn stuff. They've gone, they've gone straight for Christmas. Oh, I love these flutes. They're nice. Somebody's got one out, look. Very dainty. Oh, cheap rug. Oh, I thought that was uh, eight pounds, then it's not. How much is that? Oh, it was 25 pounds. Dogs are my favorite people. Got little poo bag holders. Treat pouches. Yeah. <laughs> Dog bowl gift set. <laughs> Cookie. Biscuit maker with a, with a bone cookie cutter. I think this section here is for students, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, going back. yeah students going back. Yeah, like furniture, kitchenware, stuff like that. Toy guns. Toys. <laughs> <laughs> aha, aha. A little bit of Halloween. Not much. Oh, that is nice. Oh, did you put a tea light in there? Yeah, I think oh, so. That is nice. I was just looking at these ones. How much are these? Can't reach. What are we gonna... How much are they? Oh, six pounds. That's not bad. That'd be nice for outside the front door. What's this? LED light up bag. Halloween lights. Oh, the curtain light's good. I love that. Does anyone remember when a pencil case was everything? It was, you know, everything. <laughs> I'm sure I had one like that. Did you ever have the, the long one, about that long, but it had like things like that on it? Like pictures of pens and that. You should always get them in like um, Woolworths, I think. Oh, Woolworths. Took them out, so it would hold like a 30 centimetre ruler. I think one side would have like a times table thing on. Mm. And the other side would have pictures of pens. No, I don't remember those. Oh, they're all pens. Oh. 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 Lovely. Here, Chris. You could do with one of these. <laughs> I'll have one of these. Oh. These mugs are nice. These look like anthropology type mugs. How much are they? £3.50. Like the anthropology mugs are about £12. Oh, this one's cute. Oh! August girls love to travel. Yes. I just realised these are all month mugs. September girls are world and free. What's this one? October babes. Take time to chill. Right, we are done. I will show you what I got. When I get home. And we're back and I have a bag full of stuff. I've got a bag full of stuff from B&M in a Costco bag. These Costco bags are amazing. I will do a Costco come shop with me at some point in the next few weeks or so um, because they're starting to get the Christmas stuff in there and that's what I'm most looking forward to for Costco because we've recently become members of Costco but I've never experienced Christmas in there before so that will be coming soon but anyway what did we buy in B&M this time around okay okay let's do a random a random haul so the first thing we got was one of these flash speed mops this was 9.99 um 
I don't know why it's limited edition. Is it the scent that's limited edition? Because I know these are in there all the time. Um, but yeah, I got one of these for the ensuite because uh, I wanted something that could just stay in there permanently. And these just seem really good. I could just pop it in the corner behind the door. And then it comes with four of the dry sweeping pads and four of the wet cloths. Um, but they do do, um, what am I what's the word I'm looking for? replenishable pads is that the word i'm looking for i feel like that's the wrong word refills that's the word i'm looking for so they do refills in there and they are 2.99 so yeah once i've used the four the four of those i can then go and get some refills at some point so yeah we got a speed mop next up we got some um kitchen roll we also got some toilet roll but that's already gone upstairs but yeah a six pack of ultra thirsty kitchen roll Tea bags. We are Yorkshire tea drinkers in this house. You can't beat a Yorkshire tea bag. Um, so we got a box of those. I don't know how much these were actually. I don't know, but I know they do the big bags, don't they? And they're a tenner. Um, so if you are big tea drinkers, you're probably better off buying the big bag um, opposed to the boxes. But I feel that was probably like a few quid. This is a very random haul. <laughs> So we've got, got some more mayonnaise because we needed some because I've run out because I've been having all my salads and everything uh, with a dollop of mayonnaise. Uh, <laughs> got some talc because it's been hot under the boobs. You know, thighs. Talc. Mandarin segments. I seem to be obsessed with these at the moment. These on their own or with orange jelly. I don't care how they come, but I just seem to be quite obsessed mug shots these are great to have in your drawer at work um for those times in between either in between sort of the morning to lunchtime you know sometimes when you get really hungry uh you know you can get those weeks where you're just like i want to eat everything these are good because you can either have like a mid-morning one or maybe you know that in between lunchtime and going home and sometimes like three o'clock you can get a little bit peckish I think these are really good because they fill you up and they were like 49p each so i got some um creamy cream cheese pasta ones and then the pasta roast chicken ones chris got some of these foil trays for the barbecue because we are having a bank holiday barbecue with our friends um actually by the time you watch this video we would have had the barbecue um but yeah we've got a five pack of the foil baking trays for two pound fifty and these are just really good for like you know, putting putting them when you cooked the meat. <laughs> These are also good to make lasagnas in as well. Um, I've been known to make lasagnas for other people. I haven't actually. These are quite thin. You know, you can get the thicker ones. Um, and I've made lasagnas for friends and family before. And you know, if you don't want to like give your dish away just in case you never get your dish back these are great for that so um yeah universal super glue uh chris wanted this to fix his light that he got his cocktail light that we got from primark if you watched uh my last come shot with me you will know that some of the perspex on the light was cracked so he said he'd rather keep the light because he might not find that one again so he's going to fix it we got a couple of bits for charlie so we got him some of these wag treats he loves this particular brand he actually really loves the steak bites uh, i actually got a big box of them off amazon for seven pounds um and yeah he loves them so we've got loads of them but he hasn't tried these ones before so we'll see what he's like with these fish finger and chips i just thought the novelty of it um so yeah so we've got him some wag treats and then we got him a new toy uh so this is a durable squeaky ball so that was £2.50. All oh, these treats were a pound. Did I say they were a pound? They did all different flavours, but these were the ones that just um, caught my eye. And yeah, so he's got a new ball. I don't know if you can put... No, it doesn't light up or anything. I don't think you can put treats in it. But um... Oh, it squeaks. Does it? <coughs> okay, last couple of bits. Um, so, I bought some metal curtain ring so they did these in a gold and they also had rose gold as well and i put these in and chris was like why have you put curtain curtain rings in there i am going to turn these into napkin 
holders i just think they're the perfect size i'm going to use the little hook the little hole that's there to, to poke through some like foliage and stuff and these are going to be my christmas or maybe even like autumnal i might do some autumnal like foliage in there um maybe some berries that would be cool not real berries just like pretend that'd be messy with real berries wouldn't it but like some autumnal stuff um maybe some little acorns on some like string i could put that in the little through the little hole there but yeah i just thought these would be really cool as napkin holders are you see are you seeing my vision or am i have i gone bonkers like chris thinks i have but anyway i got 10 of these for three pounds which i didn't think was bad so and last but by no means least i got a little bit of halloween uh they're starting to get the stuff in there i imagine they're going to have so much more um there was only a little bit on the shelves i did like the big pumpkins that were six pounds you know the ones that said spooky and boo i thought they were really good i might go back and get those so I can put those on the doorstep um but anyway I got the little ones because I just thought the little ones were really cute um so these were five pound for a pack of eight and I'm going to create you know like I do my little hot chocolate station for Christmas I'm going to do a little Halloween one and I thought I'd put these with it I thought it would look pretty cool so um yeah I'm happy with those but anyway that is it that is everything that i got from b m this time around i hope you've enjoyed and i will see you guys in my next video take care and i'll see you soon bye do you want to try one of these fish finger treats do you want to try one yeah give me a paw give me a paw good boy what do you think what do you think he likes them they're a hit.